hey guys what is up and welcome back to my channel for those that do not know my name is Oma, and thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope you like it here enough to subscribe and if you do enjoy this video please click the like button to help my ministry thank you <laughs> so for today's video i am going to be dishing out things you didn't know about perfumes now i'm sure most of you do not know this and that is why i'm here to help you slay and smell good in this 2022 okay it is very key and very important that we all stop smelling so in this video i am going to be telling you the five types of perfumes we have in the market today all right let's get into it Okay, so first up, what you need to know is that perfumes are made up of oils and alcohol. So what differentiates the type of perfumes is the oil concentration in that particular perfume. Basically, that is what a perfume is made up of. So we have five types of perfumes. So the first type of perfume that we have is pronounced au fresh. And this is actually a French word. It simply means fresh water. It is obviously a French word and it means fresh water. So this is the first type of perfume that we have. And because it says fresh water, it actually has, it is actually a combination of water and alcohol. Now this is the weakest type of perfume. It is the cheapest type of perfume as well. And yeah, like most people don't know about it and there are not really much of this type of perfumes in the market. So it has, it typically has 1% to 3% of oil concentration in the perfumes and the rest percent is made up of water and alcohol. So this kind of perfumes usually last for one to two hours and they are also made for people that have sensitive skin. So for those people that don't like heavy scents, you can also tilt to this type of perfume so the first type of perfume we have is a fresh all right let's go to number two okay so the second type of perfumes we have on the market is called eau de cologne or simply called a cologne right i'm sure you must have heard of this i know back in the day my mom used to call perfumes like cologne and i'm like where did she hear that from but that's actually a type of perfume it is eau de cologne or called cologne now this is the second weakest type of perfume that we have in existence today so it is practically made up of two to five percent of oil concentration and the rest are alcohol now this kind of perfume usually comes in a bigger bottle and this is because you tend to reapply before you get a significant effect so this kind of perfumes would last typically one to two hours as well and because of the low oil concentration in it it doesn't last as long also this kind of perfumes are also um suitable for hot weather basically because of the oil and alcohol content in it so it's not suitable for um sensitive skin it is suitable for the hot weather and what else it has two to five percent of oil concentration okay let's go to number three so number three is the edt that we all know which is the eau de toilette now this one very common in the market most people have heard about this type of perfumes um, um so edt was actually gotten from a french word which is first c'est first c'est toilette which technically means um getting ready basically so this kind of um, your edt perfumes are obviously more expensive than your colons and your all fresh perfumes of course they last longer than the other two types that i've mentioned earlier and you know and they also last longer so this kind of perfumes are also recommended to be used in the summertime and hot weather because it has um a certain percentage of alcohol in it so for this kind of perfume you tend to have 5 to 15 percent of oil concentrations in it and also it tends to last six hours in a day yeah the other two tend to last from one to two hours but this tends to last six hours and it has 5 to 15 percent of oil concentration so you, you tend you tend to have a longer wear of this kind of scent right yeah so that is all for the edt it is more expensive than au fresh and um cologne it has six hours we are in a day it has five to five to fifteen percent of arc of 
um, oil concentration in, in it and it's also recommended to be worn in the summertime let's go to number four for number four of course you guessed it yes it is your edp these are your other perfumes that is um widely circulated in the market most perfumes that i actually own are edps they're other perfumes and they have a very long year okay so your edps um you can spray these on your clothes you can spray this on your body and this is because it has 15 to 20 percent of oil concentration in it it has a higher concentration than edt obviously colon and a fresh and it has a whooping eight hours of wear in a day yes that is edp so your edp lasts long i mean this is just like the random or the general description of edps but I've, i have i have edps that can last up to 24 hours but what i'm typically telling you guys is that the least you should expect of an edp perfume is an eight hour wear okay so it can actually last longer than that but yeah eight hours of wear from edps it has 15 to 20 percent um oil concentration and it is definitely more expensive than your edts your colons and your all fresh perfumes now let's go to the babanla so when i was ignorant when I didn't know better, I actually thought EDP was like the highest of perfumes. I thought EDP was the highest type of perfumes you could find in the market, but no. The highest type, most long lasting of all perfumes is actually called Perform, like Perfum. So you can call it pure perfume, you can call it extra de perfum, you can call it Perform, but this is like the highest type of perfume you will find in the market so this kind of perfume tends to have 20 to 30 percent of oil concentrations and it is the most expensive of the whole type of perfumes so the good thing about this type of perfumes is that it stays on the skin and does not dry out it also lasts a long long time it lasts longer than edp edts and the other type of perfumes there you have it these are the five types of perfumes we have in the market. So we have your Perfum, we have your EDP, your Eau de Perfum, we have your EDT or the Toilette, you have your Cologne or the Cologne, then you have your Eau Fresh. So I am sure you learned something new today. You're welcome. You're welcome. I know. So in case you didn't know that, now you do. Okay okay guys so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did sharing this information with you guys i really want to know if you actually knew this type of perfumes existed i really want to pick your brain on this let me know if this information was actually useful i really enjoyed filming this and i hope you enjoyed watching it as well if you did enjoy it please don't forget to give it a like don't forget to click the like button and this way once you click the like button um youtube tends to share my videos to other people for them to watch as well please help this ministry reach the permanent site okay thank you so much for staying with me to this point and i'll see you in the next one